What's up guys, hope you're all doing very well. So it is November 30th, and you know what that means. No, stop, stop, not that. No, it's not time yet. But it is time for Spotify Wrapped. So guys, let me show you what great taste I have in music. I'm very excited, so let's jump into this one right away. I've got my phone, and we can get started. So, 2022 Wrapped. Enough about 2022. Let's talk about me. Let's. <laughs> and what great taste I have. Welcome to your wrapped, Preston. So formal. This year you ventured into the genre verse. You explored 32, or excuse me, 34 different genres. Um, not really a lot. <laughs> Modern rock, electro pop, vapor soul. I don't even know what that is. Pop and indie R&B. That sounds like me, though. From sunrise to sunset, you kept it interesting. I always do. Your morning starts with feel-good, upbeat, mellow. <laughs> of course it does. You seize the day with hopeless, romantic, cozy, bittersweet. Indeed. You embrace the night with exciting, feel-good, golden hour. You know, start it exciting, end it exciting. All that listening added up. 27,338 minutes. That's quite a bit. That's more than 79% of listeners. Very cool. With one song, it was love at first listen. Let me guess. Soaked. Yeah. <laughs> I love that song. It's so catchy. You played 1,472 songs, but these played again and again. Soaked. Plain sight. Semi-pro. The hardest part. And love you like that. Ooh, let me pause it for a second. I thought this would come up. So, guys, I actually bought this from Hippocampus. They were having a little bit of a sale. But it is a vinyl of one song for Semi Pro. I don't have a record player, but I wanted to scoop that up. Your year can't be contained in a playlist. Indeed, I am far too interesting for that. But there's the 100 top songs for this year. You listened to 701 artists, but one ruled your world. Let me guess. Let me pause it. Let me pause. It's going to be Hippocampus. 100%. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that sounds like me. You spent a whole not 3,192 minutes together. I was in the top 0.1% of Hippocampus listeners this year. See, so guys, as someone that listens to, like, um, you know, like, indie stuff, like, this is, like, the dream. Hippocampus, hit me up. <laughs> Send me some tickets when you come to New York. And you know what? Give me that photo pass, please. You won't regret it. So let's see. Yeah, I couldn't stop listening to Semi Pro. That one's so catchy. I'm, um, one of those people that, like... If there's a song that I can't get out of my head, I'll listen to it like 20 times in a row, no problem. And let's see. You like these artists so much we put one of them on the cover of magazine. <laughs> what we got? Hippocampus, Leon Joy Wave, Olivia Dean, and Odessa. Odessa, a sneaky number five, but I listen when I'm working out, so I guess that makes sense. I'm very strong. <laughs> I can't even say that seriously. I spent 4,725 minutes listening to podcasts. Let's see, Mr. Ball and Armchair Expert, Happy Hour, and the Very Really Good Podcast. Very cool. Um, that's kind of where I expected them to fall. This year you had onions, like an ogre. Time to meet your listening personality. Ooh. <laughs> we'll see what this is. The Maverick. You know who you are as a listener. While everyone's bathing in the mainstream, you're frolicking in... Oh my goodness. If I could just screenshot this, this is exactly what I want. Someone... <laughs> I'll repeat it again. As someone that listens to, like, independent music, you're just like, please, let me just be more and more niche as a personality trait. So, let's see. Thanks for spending 2022 with us. Here's your year squeezed onto a page. And we'll break down. 
top artists, Hippocampus, Leon Joywave, Olivia Dean, and Odessa. Top songs, Soaked, Plain Sight, Semi-Pro, The Hardest Part, and Love You Like That. Top genre, Modern Rock. Um, it's interesting how much, like, the top songs work their way into, like, the top artists as well. So we have 27,338 total minutes. Um, modern rock is the top genre again. Top artists. Did we do top artists already? Oh, I see. <laughs> that took me far too long to realize that's the same information, just on different, um, backgrounds and... <laughs> Oof, I'll be okay. So let's see. Let's just give a quick scroll through the top songs of 2022. So there we go. Pretty much all the usual suspects. What's interesting is a lot of them have been making their way like onto this playlist like year after year since like 2017 or 2018. Like if a song is catchy, I'll say it again. I just cannot get enough of it. Like Honey Bee from Unknown Mortal Orchestra, for example. That has been on the list for probably like the third or fourth year in a row. It's so good. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Let me know who your top Spotify artists are and what I should be checking out for my own. So guys, that is going to do it for me. I'll see you in another video very soon.